Happy New Year. Happy 2025, everybody. Hopefully you had a wonderful New Year's Eve. Uh, and, and hopefully this will be a, a good year for Snap. And I have I have good feelings towards 2025 for Marvel Snap. Uh, the way that some things ended in 2024 with their announcements and they're actually saying like what they're going to do is a very good and positive first steps to more and better things. Uh, they've acknowledged quite a bit of their shortcomings in the player experience, but as we all know, saying you're sorry and acting on how to make amends with things are two very different things. Um, it's not what you say, it's what you do. The whole actions speak louder than words. Uh, so they already made a couple actions at the very end of the year. Some people definitely feel it's too little too late, and I, I completely understand that. Um, but it's... I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding out. Fingers crossed. I'm really holding out for, uh, for this year. Uh, some things before I get into more, what, what I wanted to talk about, which was um, the amount of bundles and comparing them over the years. Uh, Collector's Vault, at first I didn't like it too much. Um... But now I really like it because it takes away that FOMO from when there's a expensive bundle that you would want to get but you don't want to spend, uh, or you can't spend $50, 5,000 gold, 8,000 gold, $100, whatever it is. There's a chance in a year for you to get that variant through the Collector's Vault, which is really nice. Uh, I Voltage is back for a second time. I think that's awesome. I'm very happy they included Alioth with uh, the banned cards. I would uh, personally love if they got rid of Cosmo and Gambit, but what are you gonna do? That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll live with it. I actually have not seen too much Gambit in High Voltage, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, my wife has been busy with work, so uh, when I have some free time, I try to uh, play on her High Voltage because it's, it's just so much fun no matter what you do. Uh, also, things that I loved this year was uh, the uh, uh, card customization. I thought the steady improvements that they did with that have been absolutely phenomenal. It takes away so much stress from you getting a really nice variant and wanting to get a previous split effect on there, and then you have to re-split it, and then fingers crossed, hopefully you get it. Now, once you get a split combination, any variant you get, you can apply it to. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. And my favorite, one of my favorite additions, and I've said it so many times, uh, bonus boosters. Bonus boosters is definitely one of the best things in 2024 that has happened. Um, I love it. It's helped out so much. Way better improvement than the fast upgrade system it was before. All right. Finally, my neighbor has been, somebody's been idling outside with either a motorcycle or maybe it was their their Mustang, I forgot, but it was just like loud for about 10 minutes, just idling for a bit. Glad that's gone. Next order business before I get into uh, uh, the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, a couple weeks ago, actually I think just like a week ago, I made a video where it was talking about how uh, Second Dinner has finally listened to the community, they have won, and I was in such a good mood after all of that, I said, hey, how about a little extra win for us, the players? Um, uh, if you comment on this video and you like and subscribe, and I wish there was an easier way that, yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy that YouTube doesn't have like an easy way to just see like who like liked and and is subscribed to your your channel. I know there's like weird ways you can do it if somebody has their subscriptions uh, public then yeah, if they're private, then you can't actually see if somebody is subscribed to you. Okay, that, that's just like light bitching. Um, but I said, uh, tell me why Baron Mordo uh, has, is your favorite card or how he has helped you in life. And I will do a drawing on New Year's Day, which is today. And the winner will get, uh, I will buy you the super premium pass next season. That's the the... Was it 15 or $20? I forgot what it is, but that's what I'm doing. And so, where is it? Here we go. Here's the wheel. Uh, only six people commented about Baron Mordo. Uh, and I think two or three of you, two of them, at least two, uh, got Baron Mordo and Baron Zemo mixed up. 
that's fine. It's crazy that we have two Barons in this game. Uh, but I also love Baron Zemo, therefore you have not been uh, disqualified for this. And uh, click to spin. Let's see where we go. And Glipsy Danger. I will figure out how to get this done. Um, I, have, uh, I have a Blue Sky account. I also have an email address. Maybe you can comment. Comment. Reply to the comment where I tag you in, uh, saying that you won about uh, what your snap ID is. Last time I tried to do this, there was an, a hard time with the, the the pound sign or the hashtag sign, depending on your age. Uh, when you're typing in your snap ID, um, apply to it. And if that's not working, we'll work something out. But anyway, congratulations. Thank you so much for uh, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Hopefully, uh, Baron Mordo and Baron Zemo will bring you great blessings in 2025. Now onto the main part of this video, which is looking at the charts of bundles from cash bundles and gold bundles, comparing them throughout the years that Marvel Snap has been out. I wanted to do this so that I can first have this data ready for when I add a 2025 column and track how everything is going there. Uh, and also just to see the numbers and to show you guys the numbers. And when you have a feeling about something because if you've been playing this game from the beginning or over the last you know mostly over the last two years which is essentially yes the beginning of the game your feelings are that second dinner is becoming more greedy that there are way more cash bundles out than there are gold bundles that the value of them which i didn't graph i didn't graph the value i just graphed how much they cost uh, the value of them are going down, and because of this, it feels like card acquisition is is hurting me. I'm not seeing as many gold bundles now than I did in 2023, and I'm seeing way more cash bundles now than I did last year. There was a time in this month, um, and definitely in November, uh, where I was scrolling down on the shop, and it was like four cash bundles and no gold bundles. Like, what is even happening? It's it's insane. So. Let's start off with the under $100 bundles, and by $100, I mean $99.99. All right? We all know that's what I mean. Don't be smart about it. Uh, and you can see in the green line is 2022, and I, I, I messed up the colors. I don't know how I did that, and I can't fix it. I'm sorry. I'm not part of the uh, Microsoft Excel World Championship team. I'm sorry about that. We're going to have to deal with this. Just... Bear with me and know that I am sincerely apologi uh, apologizing from the bottom of my spreadsheeted heart. So, 2023, the amount of cash bundles here, not a lot up until you get to June, where it jumps up. And maybe the game was starting to take its stride, where it definitely was foreboding to look at and didn't seem like a very good sign. Uh, definitely players caught on that, myself included, where it's just like, geez, just four bundles here, five bundles, this is nuts. And now, in 2024, six is the minimum, and it just, it skyrockets, just way up there. And this does include items on the web shop itself. I've recorded this like four times, and I don't remember if I said that, so just another disclaimer. Um, even though a majority of people don't go to marvelsnap.com and go to the web shop, the fact that Second Dinner does promotions on there, and they have the reward track, and they try to do things to get people to get there, even though you're not seeing it in the sh app itself, I'm still including them with the cash bundles for here, right? So that's important to know. Because you're gonna be like, 18 bundles in November? I don't remember 18 bundles in November. A good amount of them were actually in the web shop. So that's where that number came from. Not the case with the $100 bundles, where it went from two in 2023 to 17 in 2024. That is an insane jump, insane jump. Averaging like, what was that, one and a half? There were three this month, three. And I don't think that includes the $100 bundle that was in the web shop for like a winter celebration that you can only get that way. Um, I'm not sure if I included this. Like I said, I've recorded this quite a bit of times and I might be getting my data messed up and I'm sorry about that. But. If you felt like there were way more cash bundles this year than there were last year, which we all know is true, now you can actually see how ridiculous it was, uh, the amount of cash bundles that happened in 2024. So, conversely, 
you may say, where are my gold bundles in 2024? There were so many more in 2023 where you can't have gold bundles in the web shop because the web shop is always just cash. So we go, we look at the gold and the under 3,500 gold bundles in 2023, which is the orange line here, um, four, two, four, two, three, none in July, but all pretty high up until here in October, which is where I felt uh, maybe the investors or everyone was you know, yelling at them saying, ah, oh, there's too many gold bundles, not enough cash bundles. Um, and they started to change the value. The, the biggest one for people who remember was the Century Destroyer bundle, Sugar, Spice, and Everything Ice, where they changed it from uh, 6,000 collector's tokens and 6,000 credits to 1,500 collector's tokens, 10,000 credits, and Infinity Conquest tickets, which people hated, hated it. Uh, so that was bad. There, there was like one or two changes here too, but that was like really the beginning of the end for it. Uh, and now for under 3,500 gold, it's one a month. That's all you get. Ever since October of last year, it's just one a month. Look at how nice this was before for people. This does not include booster packs. This does not include token Tuesdays or anything else like that. Uh, these are all unique bundles. So October 2023, it went from one a month. And before that, quite a bit more. And it was wonderful. Over 3,500 gold ones, uh, again, orange is 2023. They do kind of average out to be the same. There are going to be more on average um, in 2023 than there are in 2024, but they did stay kind of even. I don't know what happened here in July. There were, there were, over, that there were four over 3,500 gold organically through the game, even with the best luck and buying the season pass. There is no way you're going to be able to get every single gold bundle, which means you're going to have to spend money to get the gold to do this. But the feeling that a player sees when it's a gold bundle compared to a cash bundle can psychologically be pretty different. When you see pure cash bundles, you just think of, you know, they're, they're trying to buy me out, they're trying to get me to spend more real world money, um, and all this other type of cash where gold, they're actually pretty good with getting you gold in game. Uh, if you get to at least level 90 uh, and ranked, where that 500 gold is also there, you do your 2,500, uh, sorry, 25 uh, daily missions every week, and you can get a very good amount of gold a month. So this gave people like more options to do. Now it's just like way less gold bundle. This straight line is just ridiculous. And I think maybe the, I counted and something in august for september because it was like uh, an error with the dates or just things overlapped whatever it's still it's still straight enough line it's still one a month right and it's just it's just sad um uh, i said earlier in the video that i have high hopes for 2025 i really do i there are some things that second dinner has said that i want to make i want to believe that they're going to be doing better but who knows Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, congratulations uh, to Glipsy Danger. I did a cut, and I looked at who it was. Editing. Guys, let's have a great year this year. Uh, fingers crossed for Marvel Snap Second Dinner. Let's do good by the players. Put the players first. The money will follow. Promise. Have a great year, everybody.